<clears throat> we died again tonight. It just gets worse and worse. But, you know, when I ended the stream tonight, I realized, holy crap, I had some good items on my Amazon's personal tab in my inventory, in my stash. And as anyone that knows and plays D2, anything in your personal stash when you die gets lost and goes into the abyss. Only the shared tabs in your stash stay. Now, this is an image of my stash, my personal stash on my Amazon, which died tonight. And as you can see, I have some pretty good runes in there and some good items. I have runes in there that could create treachery and another infinity. And this is why I put them there. Big mistake. Um, so the errors just keep accumulating with me. I don't know what's going on. It's been a frustrating couple of weeks, I have to say, but I wanted to obviously uh, capture this death and moment and this journey is, uh, this might be a long, long journey for me to complete this personal goal of mine of wanting to complete how difficulty and hardcore. Anyway, I'm gonna share the last moments with my Amazon from tonight. I hope you'll uh, stick around and join me. We'll see you on the other side. I'm not gonna go into a big analysis. It was a bonehead move um, for sure. Um, anyway, in the background, I'm gonna have the video showing and literally right now, um, I had finished Maggot Slayer and I have to say the whole act two with me that night, uh, tonight, sorry, was that, uh, you know, just going through dry hills, far oasis, lost city, finding the waypoints, finding, you know, just progressing through act two. It's just, I don't know what it was. I was just struggling with finding. And, and you know, I typically... Um, struggle with finding waypoints and stuff like that it's just something that i still haven't mastered um but anyway i'm going into town we finished um the maggots lair and we now have to find the valley of the snakes and go into the claw viper temple um for those of you that play d2 you know uh, this quest line, it's in act two. And anyway, we're in town getting ready. And so just to lay kind of the foundation, we were, um, I think we're in our seventies, level 70. Uh, we're in hell difficulty. We're in act two. And I'm currently playing, um, charge strike and lightning fury with, um, with some, points into plague and we were kind of at a crux right now uh, as far as respecting um, so um, everybody in chat wanted me to respect to you know poison plague um, so I wanted to just uh, test out how my character would feel um, with the current setup prior to um, respecting and my thought process was, you know what? Lightning immunities are going to be really predominant in act three. Um, I'm going to level up a little bit in act two cause I had just started it. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I'll dump all my points, skill points that I get prior to act three. Uh, I'll dump them in plague javelin and I'll see how it feels. Cause lightning fury is just obliterates the map. Um, I flew through act one and act, uh, uh, sorry, in, in normal, uh, I just flew by normal, flew by nightmare. Actually, I, I was constantly putting it player eight, player seven, player six. Like it was just obliterating everything. It was so easy. Um, so I'm like, you know what? I don't want to lose that. Let's see how it pans out. I bought a low resist wand and I put it in my offhand. 
I'm like, you know what? We'll 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 stay the course with the current. And I only had one respect left because I lost my normal respect because I misclicked the skill reset button. I wanted to trade something, but I hit skill reset by error and I burned a, a, a respec option. Um, so I only had one left and I wanted to make sure um, before I used it, right? So we were in town, we're all setting up and you know, at this point I'm also getting very frustrated with my mercenary, which uh, was dying left, right and center. Um, so it was just basically me and um, my Valkyrie, uh, which I had uh, put points in in the skills. And as you can see here, I'm in the far oasis and I'm looking for, obviously, we got to go to Lost City and then we go to the Valley of Snakes. And this is le probably the last couple of minutes prior to me dying. So we ended up finding the Lost City waypoint and... As usual, I'm fumbling around trying to find my area. Obviously, we need to find the Valley of Snakes. And I have to say, a couple of people in chat prior to me going into the Valley of Snakes was saying, <laughs> this is going to be rough for you in in, uh, in in the Valley of Snakes. So, um, you know, I, I kind of got that caught the message by the glimpse of my eyes um and i was like wow like what am i gonna what am i gonna come across when when we get there so um but you know that stuff doesn't phase me i i get those kind of comments all the time you know chat warning me that you know this is uh this is a dangerous area be careful be careful that kind of thing and then i go there and 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 you know nothing happens and it, and it was pretty pretty fairly easy um but we managed to fumble around lost city for a little bit dealing with anything that's getting in our way I i'm also taking the strategy okay you know what i'm taking a mindset stop killing everything that comes in your path just you know try to get uh, to the next task and and get stuff done i wanted to um go through this as quickly as possible and then obviously um, what is really slowing me down is me navigating the maps, which is something that I really need to improve on drastically. A lot of time is wasted uh, on my end from, uh, you know, not managing the maps effectively. Um, so, yeah, that's something that I'm clearly uh, need to improve on. Anyway, also what's stopping me from just going to the next thing is balancing me wanting to test out the plague javelin uh right now just to see the effectiveness and it was working i have to say the lightning immunities that we came across and here we go we finally find the valley of snakes thank god and uh you know i know exactly what to look for when you get to the valley of snakes and right away boom it takes you to the uh, the Viper Temple, and uh, away we go. And I have to say, uh, you know, immediately going in there, obviously all the salamanders and the snakes in there. I'm like, okay, this 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 seems pretty good. Everything is, we're dealing with it. You know, my my lightning fury is doing what it's been doing the whole time. I've been pro progressing with the Amazon. It's it's been doing. Um, you know, good damage. It wipes, uh, it wipes everything. Now I've obviously I'm in hell. So we put the game back to player one. Uh, I was not going to be touching, uh, the player, um, uh, amount at all during hell. I told everybody in chat that when I got to hell, it was going to be P1 the whole way. I'm not messing around. I want to get this done. Um, so this is still, it's, it's P1. We didn't amp up the players. So we're just progressing. I'm making my way. I decided to go through the top center. And I'm at the door threshold here. I'm walking slowly, obviously. I, I know in these games, you open a door, you walk through it, and next thing you know, you got, you know, 700 enemies on top of you. And before you know it, you're dead. So I'm, I'm inching forward slowly. 
really playing it slow. Um, but you're going to see I'm going to enter a room here. This one coming up. And I, I, I can... I suspect there's a lot going on in there, but I really don't know. Um, so I'm like, okay, let me take out what I can take out with my Lightning Fury before I walk in. The Lightning Fury is mopping the floor with the ones that are coming towards me, so it's working. I have Valkyrie that's past the threshold here and dealing damage to the Salamanders, but things change abruptly once I walk into the room. And here we go we're, we're actually at the end of making this this is where the quest ends and i'm dealing with everything uh, <laughs> obviously there's a lot of mobs in here i get poisoned right away i go to yeah even watching that it's like what am i doing I actually, I, I, I got to move, I, let me move, let me move this. Um, just my reaction is priceless. So I'm going to try to get that back just to show you what happened here. You see that? I actually, okay, let me play it back again. I actually hit escape, which pauses the game in hardcore, in offline mode. I'm playing hardcore offline, and I actually, I'm just gonna watch, okay? I'm getting inundated, my health is going down, I'm getting surrounded, right? I'm cursed. But I want to deal with the respawner, right? Whatever his friggin' name is. So I'm trying to get him. So now my health has gone down and I'm surrounded. I'm like, I hit pause. I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I had a, for a brief second, I said, okay, I'm going to have to reset. But then I don't know what happened. Someone else got in my mind or obviously me and something another thing came across my mind was like oh my god you gotta reset and do this all over again no no you can go around because i had i had some um some area in between them and the wall there well at least i thought i did i'm like just finesse your way around get the hell out of there get out of the room and then you know tackle them one at a time right kind of thing so i actually hit to go back into the game after i saved myself from the death i'm like no nah, i don't want to reset and i hit go and boom as soon as yeah that happened and i'm like what a big mistake i made fanaticism snakes in the viper temple Added to my list of killers. Crazy. I, I'm beside myself. I'm like, what a bonehead move. Yeah. Anyway, death number eight. Well, there you have it, everyone. Um, unfortunately, you know, in my last video, I said, hopefully the next video on this chronicalizing this journey will be a victorious one. Well, unfortunately, it's another kick in the you know what. Um yeah this one was also they're all tough so i'm gonna stop saying it anyone that plays hardcore knows these deaths are hard to swallow and take and i get a lot of people in chat telling me i don't know how you do it i can't play hardcore because of it and i don't know call me crazy but it's why i love playing hardcore is the risk and reward factor it's just it elevates the gaming experience as far as i'm concerned anyway that's death eight amazon is a rip and we uh, created a uh, sorceress built. So sorceress is up. This is the last class that I'm mandated to play. So we there was no poll or no voting from chat. Um, sorceress was going to be the next class because it's the only class 
left that I haven't played in hardcore. So after Sorceress, uh, then my community will decide what class to play if I die. But um, I will be showing you my journey with my Sorceress, which we created tonight. Um, but that is death number eight. My Amazon rip made it to hell, act two, and died to fanaticism snakes in the Viper Temple. Rip Samazon. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. I'll continue to share my journey. I would love to hear your comments and take on the issue here. And I know a lot of you have given me tips and recommendations, so thank you. Keep them coming. Um, any Anything you could uh, do to share your experience that will help me with my journey, I would greatly appreciate it. Anyway, thanks for watching, everybody. And if you can find it in your heart to like, comment, and subscribe, I would really appreciate it. And as always, I hope to see you next time. Take care.